Welcome everyone to this new workflow. This is a content out first from my, my workflow here. And we want to post the same. So I will do one click here to test step, to test the workflow. I have my content here, free video. And we want to post this, ready to post. And in the end of the testing, we want to check here, post it. So if I do one click here, we wait for the execution. Okay. Okay, let's check. Google Sheet, you can see it's posted. So if I go to Facebook page and we can check here right now, we have a new video. We have a form, tally form. This link is in my Google Sheet and people can click to fill out and get call from assistant so in this video i will show you how you can get your content from your google sheet and post it in your facebook page so let's go okay let's go so in the first trigger okay it is a, a simply trigger okay if you do one click here you can hide schedule trigger and add it okay and after that we have our google sheet this google sheet we have create a new credential okay and after that you must connect your google sheet to where you have your content you want to find it okay in this google sheet i have my content and to you use get row and your google sheet name and the sheet one and it's do okay if you do one click here you will get all a uh, all content from your google sheet here we have free we have free line free content so we get it here for item so it is the first step take information from your google sheet and here now you want to take uh, which content you want to post here in the status you have ready to post or post okay so in the second in the if node you want to uh, you want to filter them here you want to check status and choose which content you want to post let me put it in post put it in post and put this in and ready to post so i want to post the last content here okay so if i do one click you must just find the status from your google sheet here drag and drop it here the status and check if this study status is ready to post uh, not post you write yourself this information this information you must to write it yourself here copy it and paste it here and once you click on test step you get your content you want to post and the second you have the content you have already posted okay so now for the true line you want to download the content first before send it to to open or send it to the facebook in the google drive node you want to download this content the last content we check in the if node here the last content we check here we we want to we want to download it with your google drive so in the google drive you add a google drive okay here you just need to find the link and fill the url and find the link in your if node because you have open the link in your google sheet and the status is posted okay but you want the link of the content you don't have posted yet okay that's this, this link so you can drag it here and click on test step you get a fina a binary uh, file in your google 
drive output. If you get an error, you can check your credential and and it will work. Okay. Here we have true node, the main node, and we have open a model method mix model node. And if you check it, you can add this prompt. Let me check show you here the prompt talk about marketing video and with this call of action link and add this link here in my google sheet you have a link if i show you this link it is a link once someone uh, watch the video in the end uh, call to action in the video drive people in the uh, tally form once people fill this tally form you will get a call from assistant okay and we have a video about it you can check in the description and and click on here you can you must create a new credential for your for your google for your open eye it is very easy you must go to platform open eye to put a new credential if i do one click i get an output here content This is the content in the output and those two content from the binary file and the marketing description here, we must merge them here. So you add a merge node and you choose combine position and you put two here because you have two uh, input from Google Drive and one from OpenAI. After that, you can click on test it, and you get here the link, the download, the binary uh, file, and also you get uh, the content from OpenAI. Okay, and now you can post it in Facebook. This is where we have some manipulation to configure this http request all steps here is very easy okay you just need to add the node uh, progressively and follow our instruction i give but here there are some editing you must do first be before it work it will work so the first after add an http request you need to go to Facebook to find this URL there and your page, Facebook page ID and some API, some token. So the first thing, you must go to developersfacebook.com, developersfacebook.com. And here, you must go to application. You, you here you have you can create many applications here i have already one and let me create one for this video with this tutorial so here you add your name for youtube okay you add your gmail and you click on next after that you go down okay click on this last over and click to continue okay after that here click on enterprise and continue okay after that here you might to choose a portfolio I choose this and click up and here you must enter your okay this is it it's done your app is ready to be to create a credential for you so you can go to here explorer api okay and you have you you must use the the app you have created and go to permission and you'll find some permission here 
let me show you which permission you must choose you must choose page show list if you do one click here you'll see the list the list uh, of all permission you can choose so you must choose sh show page show list and page read engagement page you must find them here okay and click on them let me do one example if i do one click here you'll notice that it will be add in the permission okay so follow all all information here to take to select them after that you can create a new credential a new token okay but the new token we'll create here uh, will be able for one hour so you must convert it for a 30 day a long token because if you create a new token here and use it in your http request and use it here in the http request here the token if you post video on your facebook you'll notice that after one hour if you return to check to test your workflow you'll get an error here because the token uh, will be uh, a spirit will a spirit and in one hour so you must transform this token for 30 d i show you how you can do that so if i go to here okay after create this okay if you don't have a facebook page you must create one because it will use the the id of your page in your http request okay here first create your token first and let me create my new okay once you create a new token okay you can find all token all page you have here by write me slash icons and click on send and you get all page from your facebook here i have many pages in my facebook okay there are many pages so if i write this here and click on send all page with different code will come and come out and you can find the page where you want to post your content if i go here this is the the page where i want to post this content so you can copy this link and you want to trust this link is for only sometime for one hour so you want to transform it for 60 days okay two months okay how to do that so you must use this code paste your first token here okay the token you copy there okay after that you must find your client secret and your client id how to do that you need to just to go to your your application if you go in meta here application you must choose the application you use for create a token i have created this for example but i work with this so if you go to the application if you go to the app you can go there in general and you'll find two code you'll, you will you will use okay and this is the first here copy this code and paste it here it is a clear id let me check Okay, it is a clear ID. This is here. And for the second code, for the second client secret, you must show it, copy it, and now you can paste it here. So, those information. You must send it to your copy all here go to your browser paste it and you get a new code here okay facebook will send you a new code 
and this is it accept token and this new token is for 60 day six two months facebook will change your code and send you a new code for 60 month using so this code this new token you must use it in your http request here paste it here okay and you can use it and the configuration you use from data description you add new parameters be filled binary binary property and data is for this okay and description here is from the content if you go here your your content from your merge the content you generate from the open eye you can paste it here so you have to add three parameter in the same body the first is from that blah, accept you write accept token here and you add your token here the second from data description you add the open eye content here and the last from binary you write binary property and the data the data is the binary you have downloaded from google drive and here you must add this code okay and find your uh, you must add this okay let me show you if you get access to my community i think you can find it here no you must find it directly here let me paste it here this is the code here and this code in the in between in before video is the the id of your page if you go to your page you can find your id here but when you go to uh, here when you send you write me slash account here and send you'll find the id of your page here this is the id here to copy okay so you can copy this id and go to http request go to your http request here and paste it between paste it here okay paste it here copy this link and paste it in your http request and it's done so if i click on test step it will go to my post to my facebook page and it's done it's very easy so if i go to check to my facebook page here i must get a notification your video is ready to be watched okay here this is the video here unlock your potential i have sent a new this will have I have sent a new video if I go down this is the video here okay so you can watch the video and here we have a call, of, a call to action if someone watch the video and have an interest you can click on this call to action and fill this form and get call for from our assistant which be in our anything so it's very easy to post a video to facebook you just need to follow all information i give here and you'll be able to post your content to facebook okay we have finished with this tutorial it's very easy if you have any question you can send me to comment and i will explain you Thanks for, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. See you to the next tutorial.